I love blue, so I love blue paintings, but the risk of my blue paintings is that they almost look too sweet and nice. So I'm always trying to alter colors I like that are comfortable with colors that are uncomfortable. The, the other thing I think I've like gravitated toward is I don't like diluting colors, like mixing them with white that make them too creamy or, or diluting the power of bold colors. So I, I kind of learned to simplify the palette actually and just use the color right out of the tube without mixing it too much. I did a painting called Surf, well, it was called Kwan Su Beach. It was an early painting, and it was just a bunch of blue stripes. And it was really pretty. It looked like a flag. It looked like actually Kmart or something. It looked like, it was pretty, and it was so uninteresting. So, and it was, I was very at the beginning of my painting, and I said, oh, this painting is just so stupid. It's just like these nice blue stripes, light blue, dark blue, medium blue. It was like nice. And then I thought, this painting has no tension, has no interest. It's just sweet and nice, like a postcard. So then I took the painting and I abandoned it for a month. Then I went back to it. And then I started torturing the colors. So adding gray, adding white, adding silver, adding brown into it. And I varied the color. So I took what had been a sweet, predictable painting and made it very, very weird. And it actually captured blueness you see through fog on a beach. So I changed the title from Kwan Su Beach to Surf at Kwan Su. And it went from like a boring child's painting to actually a more interesting painting.